Just got a testicle removed and now my crotch hurts. Hope the stream lightens the mood. Damned, bro. That's pretty nuts. Stop at Pyros for just existing. I didn't have to do anything. Okay, might be. At least he admitted that was his mistake. Because, like, there's some weapons where it's like, oh, that's battle scarred? Wow, that looks like ass. The pistol is one of those. Honestly, even on a minimal wear, right, the pistol looks kind of like crap. Like, let me just go for, you know, my favorite, my personal favorite one geometrical teams. Let's go to the pistol. You know, factory new. Looks really good. Looks really nice. Very clean. Love it. Wonderful. Minimal wear. Ah! Ew. Ick. What is this? What is this crap? Ew. Gross. Icky. Ick. You go battle scar. Oh no! Stop! Stop it! What have you done? My poor boy! Oh yeah, and the swords too. Like, especially the fucking Persian Persuader. Just like factory new. Ah. Clean. Nice. Minimal wear. No! 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 There's just like this giant fucking line around it. Ah! Uh, no. No. Terrible. Like, I'm dead fucking serious. The main reason that, I, I, that I'm like planning on unboxing a bunch of fucking winter 2017 war paint cases I want a fucking strange factory new geometrical teams for a pistol. Just a pistol. Because I can't find one. I cannot find, like, a factory new pistol in geometrical teams, like, anywhere. Like, on the one hand, I'm glad people know, oh, by the way, this is an excellent fucking skin. On the other hand, Jesus Christ, I wish they were, like, more available. Fuck, dog. At this point, like... For this year's fucking Smith Smith's War Paint, I would kill someone just for them to like re-release 2017. Put it put it in like a back in a rotation or something. Fuck, dude. Got him. See you later, fuckers. I know you're a fucking spy. I know you are. Oh, mini sentry. Yeah, the speed build work. Like, in this version of the Islander, I honestly think, like, this is it. We got it. We're good. Like, this is fun. It is fun to use, and it's not like, oh, this is objectively the best sword that you should always use in any situation ever. Ah, damn. I feel like the Bush have a little bit of knockback resistance. Not a lot, but enough to at least give the demon a chance at killing classes like Pyro's. Well, we've changed Air Blast a bit so that it gets, um, stalled after a while. So, like, if you Air Blast over and over and over again, uh, the Air Blast will stall and stop being able to push you. So a Demo Knight, especially with his resistances, has a lot more advantage against the Pyro. Since he can, like, outlast him. But the Pyro still has, like, you know, some ability to counter the Demo Knight as long as he's, you know, on top of his timing, more or less. It's it's a lot more of a back and forth now than uh, a one-sided interaction, one way or the other. Because I know that Solar Light just wants, would prefer that Pyro, or that Demo Knight have, like, full air blast immunity or whatever, and I think that's fucking stupid. Oh, and this one Engineer, and this one Sniper. Got him. Damn it. See that? How the game, like, punished me for missing there? That was not a headshot. My, my crosshair was straight up not on your head. I'm very sorry, Larima. That was not a headshot. I knew he's gonna be up there. Oh my god, he's so fucking. 
I can't believe I hit that. Next time, eat a salad. And your head won't be nearly as large. Ooh, ba 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 be. Nope, I'm backing up. I did not really expect, like, flawless revolver aim out of the guy. Shows what I know. Who the Bible did? Hey, wait there. Not a good position to be against the heavy. I bothered showing my shrimp off last stream. I don't know why I didn't show off this. I feel like it's a little bit more relevant. Wait, but no, no, not that shrimp. Not that. It, it, it's not a shrimp. That's not. A, I would not call that a shrimp. Yeah, we got the silver. The silver boy. <laughs> Take that mold. <clears throat> oh god, my molecules! Oh. You have a head like a glass full of cum? And then you just you just swig it back? Oh man. Oh jeez! I freaking love to lick rocks! Fabarum donated one dollar. Ordo Termai in Castello Termai Dwe Nimi, Potenti Sun, Ad Ceteras classes in Ludo. Takes one to know one. Aw, oh, jeez, Rick! Why'd you go and turn yourself into a pickle? Oh, that's a pretty nutty thing of you of you to do, Rick. Going and, uh, and uh, turning yourself into a pickle like that. You know, my, my friend Engineer, he, uh, he once turned himself into a pickle. It was really weird. I think it was like some kind of fetish thing. What if Engineer turned himself into a pickle, right? But he, like, was just an inanimate pickle? Like, he had no consciousness? Like, he didn't, he really didn't think this through, and now he's just a pickle. Oh, make no mistake, I still think that, like, the original pickle Rick scene is aggressively unfunny. Oh, good, a hot hand. Speaking of aggressively unfunny. Yeah, uh, Morty, I, I turned myself into a pickle, Morty. Uh, it's really funny, Morty, I'm, uh, I'm a pickle now. I'm Pickle Rick! Morty! Morty, isn't it amazing that I'm a pickle? <coughs> Morty! <coughs> that is a pickle! <laughs> The point is that it isn't funny, then make the fucking scene shorter! So many weird donations today. Uh. Cicero donated one dollar. Thankfully I'm a JoJo fan, so I'm 100% immune to AIDS. Example. Over, thank you Spy Chungus for being in my walls. What the fuck? He just stood there! He walked into the sight line and just stood there waiting for it to happen. Oh my god, that is a fucking... His SMG has more kills on it than my sniper rifle, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, by a lot. Holy shit, dude. What a psycho. Damn, they got a lot of snipers. Oh, Jesus. That oofing hurt. You're... You're, you're darn right it did. I, I don't understand this fucking pyro who just, like, walks onto the front line and stands there. And he, like, stares at the ground, too. He's just, like... It's like a line of depression or something. He gets there and he's just like, oh, what's the point? Ho-hum. Jesus. Ah! Quantum Gamer! All right. Oh, yeah, that's... Is that fat magic? Hang the fuck on. Yeah, it is. That's fat magic. <laughs> okay. I love how you can tell the quantum guy doesn't have a job! I think we share a very similar job, actually. Ah! Monkey man. Monkeyed all over me. Yeah, no, I think we're done here. Oh! Oh, what a fucking air blast! By Pope Justice! No, nah, no, nah, we're screwed. Oh my god! Oh! I tried. Doctor, turn on my aimbot! And then Raiden just starts, like, spinning. Looking straight up. Like, let's try and get some, some real aimbot clips here. I'm so fucking cool. I'm so good. Yeah, I know I'm the best. 
Yeah, yeah, you don't gotta tell me. I'm, uh... I'm pretty cool. I'm a pretty cool. Kind of a big deal. I kind of got, like, a fucking, uh, an 11-inch cock. You know what I mean? I like to... This, I don't like to make a big deal about it or anything, but, you know, pretty... Pretty fly, you know? You know, they... At the sperm bank, they keep all the white yogurt in these jars of glass. And sometimes, I like to just eat the glass. I just eat the glass and all the yogurt inside. Mmm. <laughs> oh my wamo. Shinderu. I said Shinderu! Shinderu! Fuck! Also, I don't know if I mentioned this. Like, last time... Uh, we went to the safari park. I, I went there with my, my friend Lance, my good friend. Yeah, we got like real close to the rhinos and giraffes. There was a baby giraffe that was only like a few days old. And we finally, finally saw the platypus. We saw it swimming around. But yeah, the day we went to the safari park, it was fucking hot. It was scorching that day. Wow. I don't even think I deserve that one. Get shit on. No vaccinator can save you now. <laughs> the world's only double fucking shiv kill. <laughs> Just whip it out and slam it onto the table. You gotta, like, unreal your cock like a garden hose and be like, <laughs> Here it is. Here's my wiener. It's all over the chessboard. Yeah, you gonna do something about it? It's just like, I don't know what I can do about it at this point. This is... None of my chess training has ever prepared me for this. Anytime I see someone trim, they go all woogity-woogity. I thought that's just how it do. Ah! Hello! Oh my god. He yoggled me! Oh my god! That was sick, dude! Oh, he's at a hailstone rock. I... I never would have expected I thought that was like the safest charge in the world to make because it's just some hatless soldier. No! Swiper the Fox is a fucking psycho. Rest in peace, Pimp Master 69. <laughs> I died of two random crits in a row. It's Uncle Topia time. I don't even care. I don't care how try hard it is. I don't care how sweaty it is. Like, no, I can't. I can't. I can't handle it. I can't handle dying to a dice roll twice in a row like that. Why? Slot reservation. Yeah, I sure hope it does. Thank you. Thank you for letting me get a kill. Piss chugger, I'm back. Oh god, they have a good scout. Is that beans? Is that fucking beans? Beans! Oh, fuck. Hi. <laughs> Medic! Now it's the other soldier. Now. Damn it! If only the only person with me wasn't a fucking trollger! Ah, uh, you fool, I meant to surf that so I could GET YOUR MINUTE! <laughs> <laughs> if I actually got that fucking med pick because of that, that would have been hilarious. What? Is that me or the game? Is that me or the server? Uh...
Oh. Huh. <laughs> I like to imagine this spy was, like, so butthurt at the idea of dying that he's just, like, pulled the plug on the server. So my guess is going to be that trend will continue. What the fuck? Okay. Man. <laughs> Don't worry, that wasn't a quick scope. It was a projectile. All right. <laughs> what a skillful play. Fuck you, you're playing Flog Pyro. Yeah, Flog and score, so chop. <laughs> what do you gotta say about that one? Where's the VTuber? Oh my god. Fuck it, hang on. I'll, I'll load up the VTuber. Hello. Hello, gamers. I'm back. I'd be a horrible PNG YouTuber because I don't have any arms to cross. You're right. I don't have, like, the YouTube commentary channel animated avatar arms to cross. Fuck, dog. Like, if I become an actual VTuber and get, like, a, like a whole ass model, first thing I'm asking for. I'm going to bunk you! Got him. So predictable. Piss fart gaming. You've pissed your last fart, my friend. Dinosaur fact for chat. Uh, I'm pretty sure the tail whips of Diplodocus could break the sound barrier. That's a fun fact. Like, before Brontosaurus was, like, reaccepted as being an actual dinosaur again... That was just sort of like what I would say to, like, laymen. Where it's just like, oh, hey, you know, they don't know too much about dinosaurs to know terminology like sauropods. But they'll know the land before time, they'll know long necks, and everybody knows Brontosaurus. Now, there was a dinosaur that was thought to be a relative of Diplodocus. That at the time was named Amphicelius. Um, the specimen that I'm telling the story about now has a different name. It's like, no longer considered a relative of Diplodocus. But when it was found, like, only a couple of bones were ever found. And they have not, like, no new specimens have been rediscovered since, to the point where, like, scientists today doubt the validity of whether or not these were, this was even real. Like, if scaled up to Diplodocus proportions, this dinosaur would have been, like, 200 feet long. But now we know that it was probably from a different branch of sauropods, which would have put it at a much more reasonable, like, 100 feet or so. For sauropods, that's reasonable. But these bones were lost. Like, pretty much the biggest bones found on anything fucking ever, lost. And this was during the middle of what are known as the Bone Wars. Which probably isn't as cool as it sounds, because, like, the Bone Wars makes it sound like skeletons are going to war or something. You know what? No, it's, it's a melee fight. No. No! You don't get to just run away from a melee fight. Yeah, the guy who discovered uh, the Amphicelius, he, he was a guy named Edward Drinker cope. As in cope, seethe, and mauled. I mean, he did have to do a lot of coping. Because the Bone Wars were basically held between two people. One being Edward Drinker Cope, and the other one being Othniel Charles Marsh. And, uh, Marsh won. There weren't any, like, specific rules, really. It was just like, hey... Uh, who can find and describe the most species of, like, prehistoric animals and dinosaurs and shit? And, uh, Marsh won. Not only that, but, like, these guys fucking hated each other. 
Like, this was not a friendly competition. No, they were set out to, like, destroy each other's careers. Like, ruin their reputations. Because one time... Jesus Christ. One time, uh, something Cope had done, a mistake he had made, was he discovered the plesiosaur Elasmosaurus. And he ended up putting the head on the tip of the tail and mistaking the neck for the tail. And this was a pretty big humiliation for him. Like, in fairness to Cope, not much was known about plesiosaurs at the time. Anyone could have made that mistake. Especially if you're, like, comparing them to lizards. Like, you know, lizards, short necks, long tails, plesiosaurs all the way around. <laughs> Making discoveries and trying to revolutionize the field of... S not for science, but out of spite. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Marsh basically never let this go. And just, like, held it over him for pretty much the rest of his life. Like, you fucking idiot with your Elasmosaurus NFT shit. Donated. Oh yeah, like, they, they fucked up a lot. Like, both of them fucked up a lot during these... Uh, during these digs. The dinosaur Nanosaurus... What is now described as Nanosaurus... Went under, like, three different names. Technically four. Now, one, like, <laughs> now these names were Nanosaurus, which was the first one described, Osnelia, Osnelosaurus. So you can tell who found these. And then, hilariously enough, in the 90s, long after both Cope and Marsh were dead, um, another one called Drinker, which would also be attributed to Nanosaurus. So, yeah, like, they were not only rushing, but, like, t taking any possible differences and just being like, okay, this is a new species. Just the smallest minutia and being like, all right, can I make a new species out of this? Yes, okay, awesome. Was there a Darnold Dinosaur Marsh Suxosaurus? No, there is Marshosaurus, though. I believe it is a Megalosaurid from the Morrison Formation. So, he had Othnelosaurus and Marshosaurus and Othnelia. You know, Cope really fucked up with the whole Elasmosaurus thing. But Marsh also fucked up. Like, in, in his rush to describe new species... Like, after the discovery of Apatosaurus, he ends up discovering Brontosaurus. In order to prove the distinction, he, like, sticks the head of a Camarasaurus onto the body of an Apatosaurus. And eventually this is figured out, and Brontosaurus is discredited as a species. Like, it's no longer considered a valid genus of dinosaur. It's merged into Apatosaurus. So, like, you know, Marsh, Marsh got his own sort of head-on-ass, or rather wrong head-on-wrong head situation. And his was, I would argue, much more embarrassing because, like, Brontosaurus is a very popular dinosaur. It's, like, still was, even after it had been discredited as a species. So what is called Brontosaurus now? Interestingly enough, Brontosaurus. Because it turns out, the original fossil that Marsh had described as Brontosaurus is actually distinct enough from Apatosaurus to be its own genus. So, since about 2015, Brontosaurus has been back. So yeah, for a very long time, Brontosaurus did not exist. It was synonymous with Apatosaurus. But everyone, you know, used the name Brontosaurus more because it was way more popular. And let's be honest, Brontosaurus is just cooler. It's a cooler name and it has a cooler meaning. It means the fucking Thunder Lizard. That's just cool. Like, instantly. Instantly you get an idea of like, oh, when this thing took a step... It shook the earth like thunder. That's fucking cool. I oh, think yeah, for, for the uh for the membership. What amount of cash would you have to be handed to consider kissing a man? Anyway, thank you for the membership. Make your VTuber an unsettlingly realistic fish. My homie. My guy. My bro. I think it works. I think we have Brandy Cam. Pet the kitty. 
she's behind my second monitor right now, so it's hard to- Oh, big yawn. Would I clone a femme version of myself? No, the male version of myself is bad enough. If you hooked up with your clone, would that be considered incest? I honestly can't tell. I would say so, just because, like, as far as I'm aware, identical twins are, like, genetically identical to each other, and then fucking each other is considered incest. Look, a lot of people ask for the VTuber bit, because I just uploaded the VTuber fish bites. So we're bringing it out. I imagine this is going to be a pattern we go into very, very often. And I want to see her face when I, like, touch her toe beans. No. She pulled her toe back, but her face was just, like, mildly annoyed. Yeah, Overwatch, the actually dead game. Like, I'm not surprised at that. I don't think anyone should be. Like, this is what game... This is what, like, you know, the game industry has been conditioning you to see as normal for so long now. Oh, a game is like six years old? It just, it, it just dies, you know? That's just what happens. Like, games lasting longer than some arbitrary expiration date are the exception and never the rule. Like, this should be an abject lesson to everyone, right? Blizzard is willing to shut down an Overwatch game for what can only be described as monetary reasons. They want to make more money off of Overwatch 2. There is no reason that everything in this couldn't have been just like an update right but they wanted the new hype of a new game like think about that in terms of hey what if overwatch 2 is a complete financial failure they will shut a game they will shut their game down for monetary reasons in that situation too and then everything will be gone forever how long until like you know the standard completely shifts guess what it's already shifted. Overwatch dying after six years? That's... <laughs> That's not a new concept for games. Remember Lawbreakers? You can't play that anymore. There was no Lawbreakers 2 coming out after that. This does not just happen to games that are like, you know, old. Or from the last fucking 20 years or something. No. This happens to games that are only a few years old. When Epic bought Fall Guys, they made it better. That's like, one, a completely different company. And two, that's one game and not a whole studio. You know, I bet when EA bought Bullfrog, there were some people who were thinking, Oh good, EA has bought Bullfrog. They're going to make it better. Uh, and then they uh, killed the studio. TF2 website is down. That's interesting. God, the vaccinator is bullshit. I, I'm so glad I wasn't able to get a headshot on you, my guy. You absolutely deserve that kill. You deserve that kill like six shots ago. Why did I become a VTuber? Because people asked me to. People asked me for the VTuber thing. People asked me for the cat cam thing. Because of the latest fish bites. Get air shooted. Prove I'm not Canadian. Um... Milk in bags is an affront against God. Got him. Medic, please heal me. I'm the only one capping. Medic. Were you waiting for crit heals or something? Because my God, you are playing with fire. Let's take it if you need it more. Take it! You're gonna burn! Bro! Brandy's not dead, she's just sleeping. Now I know that's the excuse everyone gives. But she is just sleeping. Brandy? Brandy? Brandy, seriously. Yo, yo quit playing, dog. Yo, quit playing! Yo, quit playing, dog. God damn, she is out! <laughs> Yo, dog, quit playing. There's a camera right here. Yo. Yo. Yo, dog, quit playing. See, she opened her eyes. She's still alive. <laughs> Yo, she was out. Out. Okay. 
<laughs> no! My monkey noises woke her up. I didn't even notice. I'm sorry, Brandy. Yeah, and then ducks have a, a, a corkscrew barbed penis that is designed to go into a vagina that corkscrews in the opposite direction of the corkscrew with false ends. Just so that you really have to make sure, oh, this is the guy I want to be corkscrewing. Because ducks just fucking love to rape. Also, thank you for the dollar dues. I think we've had enough fish. Jesse. You've had more than enough fish. Jesse. Listen, do you do you really want to be laying eggs with a duck who was a rapist? Exactly. Exactly. That's not who you want your baby daddy to be. Mm-mm, girl. Eh. Come on. Come on! Die! But you're incapable of it, because you're a fucking Islander demo. Thank God. Huh. Got him. Spike, go for it. Oh my god, Spy. You fucking mad lad. Brandy's sleepiness is contagious. Brandy, stop putting my viewers to sleep. They need to watch my funny content, for I am an influencer. Goodbye. T okay. Teleported out of the way of my sight line. <laughs> he was just flashbanging me with his fire there. That's all that was. I got two crits in a row and they were both on a mini sentry. <laughs> Sad. I see the German space program is going well. <laughs> uh, I'm very sorry, evil beans, but you are evil now. You've lost your way and have become cringe. Like this, this right here, this is what the Scottish resistance. It's fuck! Is what I would have said. But, um. Oh, jeez! No, 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 no! This can't be happening! Step on the point. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> ah. The escape trap. It always works, man. It always works. Woody donated $2. Buzz, look. An alien. Where? I made Brandy look. Hi, Brandy. D Brandy! She knocked the camera over. A successful Gerardi application. <laughs> that leap. I think we have to call it quits on Brandy Cam. She's decided against it. He heard that. He totally heard that. No, he didn't. Ha he. Ha he. God damn it! How did he know? He's not actually dead. He knew because he turned around. He foresaw it in a dream. Oh my lord.
don't care. Fuck that sniper spot. And there's two of them up there? Uh-uh, fuck you guys. Okay, I think I hit the medic. Did my slowdown actually assist in getting the kill? Who's to fucking say? Bonk! Bonk! I'm gonna bonk you. Are we? Are we safe? Oh, <laughs> who said the Sandman Cleaver combo was dead? Oh my god! That was sick. <laughs> I can't believe I got away with that. I had no business doing so. And yet, I must frag. Oh yeah, they got good reason to come up here now. Get him! He fell for the old, oh boy, I sure am running away right now. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> he was not happy with that. <laughs> 